News Channel 3 exclusive, a former investigator with the Riverside County District Attorney's Office is the target of a criminal investigation. We first broke this story this morning on KESQ.com. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca is following the story for us tonight. Nathan. John Tama, recently retired senior DA investigator Kendent Hammond, is accused of perjury. We have confirmed sheriff's detectives handed over the case just days ago to the Palm Springs Police Department. Hammond is not under arrest tonight, but she soon could be. And dozens of criminal cases this DA investigator took part in and her years of service are now in question. We don't have any pictures of senior DA investigator Kendent Hammond. She operated out of the camera's view. But the Riverside County Sheriff's Department criminal inquiry against her is now coming out of the shadows. According to this internal affairs report obtained by News Channel 3, Hammond first came under suspicion in 2006. Her immediate supervisors at the DA's office concluded she made up an entire interview while investigating a criminal case. They brought the matter up to then Chief Deputy District Attorney Eileen Hunt. When Hunt told District Attorney Rod Pacheco about it, she claims in a recent lawsuit Pacheco told her, don't disclose anything. The DA's office denies this ever happened, calling Hunt a disgruntled ex-employee. Hammond targeted former District Attorney Investigator Louis Bolaños for investigation. The State Attorney General's office arrested him in 2005 for domestic violence and perjury. After losing his job and his livelihood, a judge determined the case against Bolaños should have never seen the light of day. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that because of Rod Pacheco and his directions, there are individuals in custody right now that do not deserve to be there. And for this man to supervise and direct, I could be sitting talking to you from jail right now. Now, who would have listened to me then? We interviewed Olga Bates, May of 2007. She knew Bolaños' ex-wife. Bates says the DA's office ignored her when she told them the ex-wife admitted lying to her about the charges and the gifts she received from Hammond. I was interviewed by uh, two FBI agents, and they were amazed that after my letter of complaint to the district attorney about Ken Bitt's investigation and her behavior, uh, that no one bothered to come and talk to me from that office. The district attorney's office discounts Bolaños as another disgruntled ex-employee. David Downing is a former prosecutor and now a superior court judge. He testified in support of Luis Bolaños to get his name cleared. Downing later claimed the DA's office tried to intimidate him. They called Downing's words irresponsible. The DA's office claims Downing as yet another supposed disgruntled ex-employee. The Sheriff's Department in Palm Desert handed over the candidate Hammond case to Al Franz with Palm Springs Police because much of the alleged perjury happened in that city. The fate of hundreds of criminal cases handled by investigator Hammond now hang in the balance. But Bolaño says his life is already ruined. And I lost the ability to care for my kids. I haven't been able to care for my kids for the last five years. Destroyed me. Uh, so that's what Ms. Hammond means to me. I've just received this response from the DA's office, John Hall, over there. It says the district attorney's office has no comment on this inquiry. Now, we have a lot more in-depth reporting on this investigation on our website, KESQ.com. And Nathan, you've mentioned Luis Bolaños in previous versions of this investigation. Can you just kind of refresh our memories as to his involvement? Some of the viewers may remember Luis Bolaños uh, as we've covered him as the former partner to DA investigator Dave McGowan, uh, the DA uh, investigator who uh, shot himself and also his entire family in May of 2005. So there is history there because Bolaños did talk about a lot of the pressures uh, that uh, McGowan is going through, much different than the official story that we were hearing from the DA's office and the Sheriff's Department uh, back in 2005. Okay, okay. we'll continue to follow the story. Good Sorry. work. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Nathan.